Hi, I'm George. Right now we're inside of Bedrock 117.10 and I'll be showing you how to change sounds. We'll be changing the sound for opening up that chest right there. Let's see how that sounds like right now. There you go, just kind of a creaky sound on that. And we'll find something more fun to make it a bit more exciting when those chests open up. Okay, switch out to the desktop and begin working on that. Here we are on the desktop and the first thing you need to do is to make a place to build your pack in. I just made a folder here on my C drive, I called it packs. And here's the sound file I found they'll be using. It's kind of a boing kind of a sound file for that. Now I found that over here at a site called freesound.org. I just did a search for boing and there are a lot of good sounds and I decided to use this one here. Let's see what this sounds like. There it is. Now you need to have an account to download. The account is free and I'll put a link for this sound in the description in case you want to use this exact same sound right there. Okay. The next thing is you need to find out where to put that sound. And for that, let's go over here. And this is at minecraft.net add-ons. I'll put this link in the description as well so you can easily get here. Now in here, scroll down. And right down here, it's kind of hidden. It says resource packs right there. You want this. So click on that. Brings up a download page. I have mine, of course, downloading in my packs folder. Choose save. And this is just the standard vanilla resource pack and we need some information out of that. So let's just get this out of the way. There we go. Here it is, I'm going to right click on this and open in new window, like that. Here's our resource pack. Now right at this point, a couple of things we need. We need that manifest JSON file right there. If you're not seeing where it says .json, then go up here to view in your window and put a check there where it says Foundum extensions. Make sure you have that checked. That'll be important later on as well. Okay, so we need the manifest and we also need the pack icon right here. So grab those two files. I'm going to right drag these over here and copy. There's our pack icon and there's the manifest JSON. We'll need those for actually building the pack. Okay, so go back into here again. Now in here, go up here to the sounds folder. Double click on that, opens up the sounds folder. Come down and open up sound definitions right down here. Now I have mine opening up in a program called Notepad++. I highly recommend using that for this kind of stuff. Also a free program, and I'll put a link for that in the description. Here we are at the top of that file, and search, find. I just did a search for chest, find next. There's chest closed, find next again, and next, there we go. Chest open, that's what I'm looking for, and I want this bit right down here. So chest open is the name of the sound that you need, and then sounds and random, this part is the folders that you need. Let's start off by making these folders over here. To make it real easy, I'm just going to pull this down so I can see that. There we go. And then new folder, sounds. Open that one up. New folder, random. There we go. And inside of here is where our finished sound file goes. Okay, so we're back here again. So that's all set to go. We can now close down Notepad++. We'll come back to that in just a bit. And let's close down this folder here. The next thing we need to do is to take this file here and convert this to the .ogg format or og format. And I like using a program called Audacity for that. It's another free program. And again, there's a link for that in the description. Let me open up Audacity and we'll then toss this over there, do a little bit of editing on it, and also convert it to the og file format. Okay, here's Audacity. It comes in about that size. You can maximize that if you want to. No real reason here for that. Now, the easiest way to get your sound file into the program is just to grab your sound file and drag it in like that. And there we go. It's all set to go. Let's go back over here to Audacity. Now a couple of things in here. All I want is this beginning section right in here. It's going to be about from here over to right about there. If I play this file, I'll put right back to the beginning. So this is just kind of a repetition down there and it's a bit of a slow thing. So I'll go right from here and then pull this forward just about to there. That should be enough of that sound file. And when Audacity does a couple of things up here, this trims the audio outside of our selection. So it keeps the selection and it gets rid of the stuff outside. So that's what you want. Click on that. And it's just that bit of our sound file. I also want to get rid of this stuff in front. Click the cut button. And we'll now start almost immediately. Let's go ahead and we'll play that. There we go. So it's real fast start and does a little bouncy sound. And that's all we need. Okay, let's now save this out as an AUG file. Go up to File. Come down to Export right here. Export as AUG. And it goes into the same folder. If not, then just navigate to a new folder. And I'll put it right here. It'll be right next to this one. Choose Save. Choose OK. There we go. And we're done with Audacity. And I'll close that out. And the next thing we need in here is the name for this file. This is back in the Sounds Definition JSON file. Let's go back over here to our zip file. Same thing, right click, open in new window, back into Sounds. 
and then open up that sound definitions again and let's find the name of that sound file back to our search find it's still here on the search choose next and there we go chest open that's what you want to name that sound file as i'm just going to right click and copy that close that down get that out of the way so let's rename this right click and paste so it's now chest open dot ogg or dot og and i need to put it into the right location inside of our sounds folder so i'll just drag it over here go inside drag it into random and there we go that's all set to go okay back to packs that part's done now we also need to have a manifest json and the pack icon png and if you want to use your own picture in here it's just a square picture it's at 256 by 256 png file format that's all it is you can go ahead and change it if you want to i'll leave mine at the default for right now now in manifest let's open this up i have it opening up inside of notepad plus plus as you can see and a couple things we need to do in here first off we need to change the name i'll just change this one to new sounds and then i'll copy that just right click and copy make sure you don't copy those quotation marks just the words and then i'll paste it in right here same thing inside the quotes and paste and same thing right down here inside the quotes and paste okay the names have been changed now we have this uuid code thing right over here and there's another one right down here we need to change these that's because these are like license plates on a car every single pack in your copy of minecraft has to have different numbers now it's easy to do just take a number and add it onto the end up here i'm going to add on eight onto this that's going to make this a 30. and if i add eight on down here that will make that 27. so just change it like that and you're all set to go the reason i used eight is because i've been doing packs before already i've already used up zero one two three four five six and seven i'm up to eight i'll just keep on changing that number each time and just adding it on to the end of the same pack okay choose save that's now taken care of we now need to put this stuff into a zip file you need the sounds folder i'll hold the control key down manifest and our pack icon go up to share come down to zip and then let's give this one a name that already says sounds that's fine Call it new sounds.zip. Now, next thing you need to do is you need to change the .zip over to a .mc pack. So let's click in there and type mc pack. Click outside, choose yes. Now, if the icon doesn't change, just back up one step here on your folders, go back in your folder again, and the icon should change for you like that. Okay, this is now all set to go. We're now ready to put this into the game make sure that minecraft is not running when you do this and then double click this to launch this into minecraft okay it's loading in minecraft and once we get to the title screen it'll say import started and we'll take a look for that there we go import started let's wait for it to say import successful there it is successfully imported new sounds okay now come down to settings and in here scroll down go into global resources right there go into my packs and you should see your pack right here click on that click activate and then double check in active there we go that's all set it's back up to settings again let it load in that resource pack let's go to play and here's my world right here and we'll let the world load up and we'll test out that sound all right let's see how our new boing sound sounds on that chest works great you notice that it changes sounds just slightly and that's because minecraft kind of randomizes the pitch that the sound is so it'll be a little bit different each time but that's working correctly okay there you go that's how to change sounds inside of minecraft bedrock and i'll see you next time